Welcome back. On this video, guys, I'm going to be updating you on where I've been, what I'm doing, etc., etc. So, um, as you saw, this is on October 13th, and um, joined a new gym. So I still have my membership at 24-hour uh, fitness, but I'll be going here mostly, and. I'm gonna try and talk to the owner and see if he'll let me uh, take a video or take you guys on the tour of the gym. It's a really nice gym. Um, they really have everything, uh, anything I could, anything you could ask for if you're into like powerlifting, but also bodybuilding. Every single bar you could think of, football bars, Texas bars. Uh, I mean, they have everything. Uh, Forza benches, but anyways, we'll get into that in another video. Uh, where have I been? So, uh, this video is taken about a week and a half uh, after the meet, <clears throat> and I'm doing a linear progression. So, Candido's, I'm doing Candido's linear progression, and so far, so good. Uh, I'll be updating you with videos, I do have a lot of footage, but this is my second week on it and unfortunately because I did not really get to test my max uh, at the meet I just uh, scaled it down based on the most I've done for a single rep in the past which was 340 I believe I've done more but that was the most recent um, so this is about uh, 75 to 80 percent of my max so going for three sets of six here and uh, leading up to the meet I've been and still am working on a lot of things uh, bracing breathing correctly uh, I tend to breathe into my chest and uh, that's does not help me at all in the squat and uh, I'll, I'll post some videos later or if you follow me on Instagram you could watch and I'll push the progression but uh, a lot of times I was losing tightness at the bottom of my squat and I would either literally muscle muscle it through and eventually get the rep um, or just or just have a failed attempt and uh, bracing has really helped me to uh, to or at least um, making the adjustment to brace and breathe into my diaphragm is really helping me out um, as you can see these squats are going really fast uh, well I consider them fast uh, from where I was before uh, keeping knees out breathing neutral spine all that good stuff uh, is helping me progress slowly so again as I've mentioned in some previous videos taking a step back to take two steps forward um, and unlike fat when I was doing fat if you watch that series uh, I will take a deload if I need to uh, that was the primary reason I think I stalled at my swap for such a long time um, but anyways yeah guys so three sets of six on squats uh, we're doing and then I think I only recorded one set of deadlifts just want to kinda reintroduce you guys to what I'm doing and where I've been and onto the deadlifts deadlift platform here so um, this is again second week and we're going for 375 for two sets of six <clears throat> Again, been making small adjustments here as well. Uh, bringing my feet closer, I noticed, um, and uh, other people noticed that my feet were a little wobbly or my knees were a little wobbly as I was deadlifting. Uh, so I decided to bring it in, you know, quarter of an inch. So that way uh, my feet are going straight up and down through the movement instead of kind of wob, you know, being wobbly and again having to muscle it up. But um, 
that's that's it for now guys I'll be updating you as we go um, more videos coming very soon don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video thanks for watching that lat separation dough